I did not want to leave the house, but I did. So we'll see how this little stroll makes out. Hopefully it turns out all right and cheers me up a little bit. Cause it's, uh, I'm glued to the couch. Can't shake it. That's the joys of depression. So it was just a few days ago, a friend of mine showed me this trail, or this road, turns into a trail. And he brought me up here in his Jeep. So I'm pretty sure I could have made it up here in my Kia Sorento as well, instead of walking. But you know what? It's been a while since I got my heart rate up, so this is probably a good thing for me. Actually, there's no question about it. It is a good thing for me. <laughs> Yay, I made it to the pond. Google Maps was right, and I didn't forget where I was going. <laughs> Actually, I'm not using Google Maps. I did glance at the map, though, to make sure that I was going in the right direction before I left the house. And for some reason, I actually remembered. Actually, it wasn't that far. It's only a 500 meter walk. I mean, how bad can you screw up directions if it's only 500 meters, right? And here we are. I made it. Nice cozy little place. Perfect spot to hang out for a little bit. It's too bad people got to leave their mess behind though. 
Kind of hard to start a fire with all that junk. I didn't come here to have a fire anyway. I'm only here for a walk to get some fresh air, enjoy the sun, enjoy the sound of the water because I can hear a waterfall over that way a bit. And also to boil up a coffee and maybe fly my drone. Not much to shoot here with the drone, but I might add to the video a little bit. You tell me at the end. Coffee's first. Get my seat laid out. There we go. First thing is first, gotta get my coffee on the go. Get to try out my new stove today. I got an alcohol burning stove. Decided I'd try that out. It takes a bit longer to boil, but it's worth it. What's the next five minutes if you're just sitting around nature, right? It's different in the wintertime when you're in a rush to get something hot downrange, but for the most part, sitting back and just listening to the water boil is all you need, right? Got a nice little toke stove, or a toke pot. You see, it's a 750 milliliter pot, which is usually more than enough for anything I need. This is the uh, stove itself, or the heat shield. And here's the uh, Trangia, I think it's called, alcohol burner. It's got a little uh, thing on top that's for putting out the fire once it's going. But you can also slide it so that way you can um, throttle, I guess, the amount of uh, heat going through. It's not a bad little setup. Anyway, let's see how it works in the wild. First thing is the, uh, my little heat shield. Pretty compact. Hard to do with one hand while you're trying to uh, keep the camera in focus. Don't fall on me. Last one. <laughs> yeah, if I had uh, didn't have that camera in my way. This would have been done long ago. Anyway, the last two are a little struggle usually. So you got that piece. And uh, with that comes these two little pegs. These are almost like little tent pegs. Because what they do is they sit inside like that. So that way when you have the pot going, the pot just sits right down there like that. Anyway, you'll see it in a second. I think I packed my lighter. Hopefully I did. Yep, I'm good. She's full. Right now, what's in there is actually gas line antifreeze. So I'm going to lay it down, and then I'll show you how to light it. To light it, you just need to give it a quick little spark. There, see? She's lit. You never say it, but in a few seconds, the flames are going to start shooting right around those little tiny holes there. It takes about 30 seconds for that part to happen. You may not see it on the uh, camera because it's uh, the flame is pretty... Uh, pretty clean. So, is it hot? I won't touch that. But I will put this over here. And we'll get the water going. Should be enough. get 
those out so they don't catch on so they don't get overheated oh yeah my lid There we go. If you're not familiar with the area, I'm gonna show you something. That hill up there, you, I don't know if you can see the, actually I'll see if I can zoom in for you a little bit. And I don't know if you'll see it because of the way this camera works. But there are steps going up there. That's the route up to the uh, Atlantic zip line. We did that a few years ago, it was a blast. If, you're, uh, if you got the funds and you got the time, go for it. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely a fun, uh, a fun way to spend the afternoon. All right, I see smoke or steam, I should say. Shouldn't be any smoke coming out. How does she look? Oh yeah, she's boiling. Lay that to the side. Use my little sniffer, snuffer. Now, is this going to be hot? Okay, they're not too hot there. Bye bye, fire. You're gone. Now, yeah, put this down somewhere so it doesn't tip. Stay. Well, it's that time again. Burnt myself, spilled coffee over me. So, going to uh, do my regular taste test. Cheers, here's the Petty Harbor. Yeah, it's pretty good. I've had better, but it's good. Could be I already had three coffees today, so maybe uh, that's why this one doesn't taste as good. I bet if I waited all night and then tried it, it'd be perfect, even better. So this is imperfect, like me. It's a nice little spot. I'm glad uh, my friend showed me where this was, because I can see me coming up here more often just to hang out. Maybe even set my tent up if I get brave enough. Got a lot of anxiety built up over the last few months, over, or last couple of months, I should say, over uh, camping. It's weird because I've been preparing for the last few months to go camping. I bought all the gear, got the nice stuff that I need to go camping. As you can see, like an alcohol stove and everything now, which came just a couple days ago. But yet, I can't force myself out of the house to do, actually go camping. I did it a couple times over the summer, but uh, it's like the desire to do it is gone. It just vanished. Joys of mental health issues. Yeah, cata catastrophizing everything. Catastrophizing? Is that how you say it? Catastrophe, so catastrophize. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. My psychologist says it all the time, so I think that's how you say it. Well, I'm going to sit down and enjoy this little cool breeze and, uh, and the silence for a little bit before I put my drone up. Keep drinking my coffee. I'm actually going to go for a little stroll with my coffee instead of sit. I got too antsy. I was shown that bridge over there earlier, so I'm going to show you the bridge now. We've got to go for a little walk through the trails here. It's only a short walk, and it's only over there. I don't know if you can make that out, but that's a pretty big ass spider. I won't go that way. I'm going to leave him alone. He's got a nice spot set up there. Why disturb him? Actually, you know what? 
and going the wrong way. The trail ends right there. And by the looks of things, this is the area where people come to do their business. So I gotta step over that. Uh. <laughs> I'm walking through the washroom, apparently. All right, how do we get over there? Oh yeah, up this way. Made it. Almost. No big old spider's webs. No, no spider webs. There's the big bridge. <laughs> Actually, it was a dam. Damn it, I was wrong. You can see there part of the trail that takes you up to the top up there to uh, do the zip lines. There's the trickling. Don't see any fish. See nothing. Nada. Well, I guess I won't be bringing my fishing rod here. All right, let's go back and put the drone up. Protein bear time. All that flying worked up an appetite. As I told you, there's not much around here to see, but uh, I did get a couple nice shots, I think, especially over that way, overlooking Petty Harbor. I think that might come out all right. We shall see when I get back home. In the meantime, cheers. All right, it's time to head back. It's 3.37.
Probably not going to beat the rush hour traffic. Here we go. As much as I didn't want to come out today, actually that's a lie, I wanted to come out, but my mind wouldn't let me, because my mind didn't want me to come out. So as much a struggle as it was to get out, I'm glad I got out. Not sure why I'm glad I got out, but I feel glad that I got out. At least I feel that's what I should feel. Because honestly, I don't feel much from this. It's like, it's an illusion. It's like I know coming out here is supposed to make me feel a certain way. But then it doesn't, and that makes you question, is it even worth coming out for these walks and strolls and getting drone clips and making videos if ultimately at the end of the day I don't really feel much from it. But I'm still glad I came out. I'm not going to deny that because I've been home on the couch for about a week. Barely go outside, barely go to my deck. Can't go to my deck because there's always people around and I don't like being around people a lot. I like to have my privacy which is why I'm out here today. Oh well, but I made it out, right? <laughs> that's what I gotta try to focus on. I made it out. And that's what the ketamine treatment is supposed to do. Like the ketamine is the fertilizer, me getting out and having a little stroll and a coffee by a lake. That's supposed to be what actually grows. That makes sense? Probably doesn't. Have any of my followers or subscribers ever been to prison? I know, weird question. That's how I feel a lot, most of the time. My house is my jail cell. St. John's itself is the prison. And I feel like I'm in solitary confinement a lot because I don't go outside my cell that much. <laughs> That's it. Got to keep forcing myself, right? Made it. I'm safe. The bears didn't get me. Sorry for my heavy breathing. <laughs> Oh. Um.